Hello and welcome to my first how to modding video for Stonehearth, which is still in the alpha. You see it running here. And I've just started it to show what will be the content of this first video. Actually, what I would like to show is how to add a custom item into the game, so make it craftable. Um, at the moment, there is only the carpenter profession in the game so what we will do is we will add the item to the recipe list of the carpenter and once you clicked on his workbench you can see all the recipes and here you see a printing press which I've included already with a custom description custom icon and also with an amount of resources which are required to create it and now he goes catches one wood, which is the requirement. He will create a small iconized version of the item and place it in his outbox. Here we go. And once that's done, we can just place it somewhere in the world. One of our workers will go and get it, place it, and then we have the first icon, uh, the first item that we've ever created in Stonehearth. Placed. Here we go. So that's what we are going to do. Let him create just one more. There we go. And let's see how to do this. So to do it, we need to prepare three files. One is a PNG file, which is the icon. Let me open the game again, which you see here. That's the first one. The second one is a QB file, a QB constructor file for the full version of your icon once it's placed in the world, of your item, sorry. And the other one is the iconized version, which you see here will be used by carrying around and to be stored in a stockpile. And these two QB files you can create in QB constructor. One is here the full version, one is here in the small version, and that has to be actually or should be 10 by 10 by 10 voxels, so it's fitting into the arms, let's say, of the workers and also in the stockpile. And you want to export them into the QB version, which will be with the settings. Just pay attention that under compression is unchecked, that's checked at the beginning or per default. And to do so, you need either the home or the, um, the master edition of Cubicle, or MindDesk just announced that there will be a Stonehearth edition available for 11 US dollars. So that should be out soon. And it will allow you also to export it into QB files. So we have these three files. And then we go into Stonehearth. You have here the mod folder. And there is a file called smod, and we name it, rename it in zip, and then you find in there a stonehearth folder which is zipped. You just name it out. So that's what I did here. And in this folder, now we need to go to several locations. The first is you need to define what type of item you want to add. I chose a furniture. And you can take uh, another existing item as a template. So I will just take what we have here, a simple wooden chair. Just copy and paste it and give it the name of your item. And I will call it just another press because I have printing press already in there. And what we need are now the three files, the PNG and the two QB files. I just copy it from the other location. And these ones we don't need here actually anymore. That's from the wooden chair. We don't want to use the look of the wooden chair. And we need to change now the names. Another press. So that's what we will be doing now. Mostly changing references and names. Um, you will find here two files which are not called just by the name of your item, but also by underscore proxy. That's the 
files which are related to the iconized version of your item. So the small one which is located in the stock file, carry around. And just pay attention that you keep it like that. So another press and then twice RQB file and JSON file underscore proxy. So that's it almost. We go to the another press like uh, JSON file. There are some references still to the wooden chair. This one you want to remove. So we want to reference it to the QB file another press. And also here the icon is another press.png. And you can change here also the name the item will have once it's placed in the world. And a short description. And that's it actually already here. Let's check it. Another press, QB, another press, PNG, OK. And in the proxy file, we want also to change the reference. Proxy QB file and here we want to reference also not to the chair but to the press. So that's it actually. Now we press twice the proxy, okay. And now we've defined the look of the item, how it is called in the world. And now we go actually to again the entities folder, but not to furniture, but to professions, and here to the carpenter, which is the only profession up and running at the moment. And here you will find a recipe folder, and again we need to include here the recipe for our item. So that's the recipes which will be shown in the game later on, and we just take. Um, again, the simple wooden chair, copy and paste it as a template, another press recipe, and go in there and change here the amount of uh, the duration it takes to build it. Here you have a count of wood, let's put it to 32 woods, and let's rename it to another press. Changed folder, it's in furniture, another press. Here you put your name or the name of your item. And again, link to the PNG file. Don't bother about having here category weapons, that's somehow it's all the items. Seems to be not working yet, not relevant. And here to the proxy. So we changed the duration, we changed the amount of wood required, we changed the folder, so it's showing to furniture here on the left and then to another press, PNG file there, that press proxy, that looks good. And now we need to open here the recipe JSON, and here all the recipes need to be included also. So another recipe JSON. So I'm linking now here to this another press JSON file included. And you see I added it here under construction and furnishing. You could add it also under weapons and armors, but you will find it in the list further down. So another press recipe that works. And now we should be Almost done, we just need to go back to the stone half folder and here we will find a manifest JSON file. So remember here stone half the unzipped version. And in the manifest all of the items are included which are in the game. So you could see that stone half is also a mod, so to say. 
and we will just add here now the entries for our press. I just took it again another item which is already in the game. And we need to add the reference to the press itself and to the proxy. That's actually another press. So again, put here the names of your item. Just to replace another press with what you selected and the proxy. So these two entries you need. Let's close it. And if everything is fine, we can now zip it again. I will remove the existing SMOT file and change the zip into SMOT. And as I said, if everything works fine, now we should be able to create another press which hopefully will work out. And just by doing this, you can add other items as mentioned in all the categories, define own categories, doesn't make a big difference. And just place it somewhere here in the world, doesn't really matter to show if it is working. And let's just build already the carpenter workshop, chopping some wood. And you and I lucky carpenter. So it's just promoted, and now let's see if it works. We have now here the printing press and another press. Two wood resources, as we said, used to print books. That's fine. So that's actually the description which we had in the recipes down there. So used to print books, used to print books, and actually. You can add here another small comment, maybe a funny one, that you can do in this line here, flavor, and this text will be shown up here. So that works out. Let's not create this one, that's the wrong one. We want another press, two woods. So he should now gather two woods. And once he has the two woods, should rather fast create the printing press because we said it will not take a lot of time. He placed it here and now we can place it somewhere in the world. Another worker will go, build it. And there we go. The first ever printing press in Stonehearth. Here we have the text, another press. And there we are. So it's not too much effort actually. Let's recapture once more. You need to, of course, first unzip here the SMOT, and then the locations we need to work with are if you decide to include a furniture, just take one of the existing ones, copy and paste it, use it as a template, give it a name you want your item to have. You need to add a PNG and a QB files, the two. The proxy are the small icon versions. Then you need to go to the carpenter, add it to the recipes here, and just have it here. And you need to add also the recipe here with the description. And this was the yeah, small funny comment and the right references to the files. And once this is done, go back to Stonehearth, open the manifest, and you need to add also in the manifest the two entries for each item, linking to the full item and to the proxy. So that's what you need.
to do here so much more than that and then just zip it again rename it into s mod and enjoy the first item in the game so I hope that was interesting, easy to follow. If not, just leave a comment under the video or in the official forum, and I'm sure we can sort any potential issues out. So thanks for stepping by. Hope this was kind of useful, and it would be nice to see you soon.